Welcome to another Parent Teacher Video Lesson from the EarlyGiftedManual.com, a free website for homeschooled children three to seven years old and their parents that promotes and develops giftedness at an early age. I am Gary Blank, the creator of that site and your host and facilitator for this video and all of the videos in my educational program. As the video lessons are designed to work in conjunction with the program on my website, I ask you to, at some point, click on the URL link in the description box below, and this action will take you to the earlygiftedmanual.com. By doing that, you will be able to put this lesson and all of the video lessons here on my channel in the proper context of the total program that I am presenting to you and your child. So soon enough, your child will probably no longer need these symmetry sheets we just work with and will reach a point where they're perfectly capable of uh, creating large, uh, larger uh, symmetrical constructions uh, with really no guidelines, just using their creativity. and. Um, the way I like to teach this uh, in kindergarten and preschool, I'd say start with any block. And uh, probably a good one initially to start out with would be a square. And um, let's see, what shall we do next? We could put a red one there. And of course, if I put one there, I have to put one on the other four sides, or the other two sides at least, but I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to work with four-way symmetry. That's what I've decided. So, as you can see, I've done that. Is it still symmetrical? Yes, of course it is. And you can always check by going back to the uh, the ruler and doing this. Uh, and we've already talked about that. Let's see. Let's keep going here. Let's. Uh, Perhaps put a couple greens here. And as you can see, I fast forwarded here. I didn't want you to have to sit through uh, my construction of this piece. Isn't that really nice looking? And kids come up with things like this all the time. But you see how it's done. You start with a piece and decide on your symmetry. And of course, symmetry, you always, whatever you do on one side, you do on the other. And before you know it, you've made a nice design like this. And of course, um, these get bigger and bigger and bigger. And I'll show you what I mean in a little while. These can, these can sometimes become huge, especially if you have a, a child or a group of children working together with a lot of patience and skill. These can get quite large. But this is a great place to start. Start with uh, the orange uh, square and work out from there. And of course, you could really start with anything. Um, Probably uh, the trapezoid wouldn't be a great one to start with, but just about any other block would, and, and uh, build out from there. And if your child needs a little help to start out with, well, let's say they might need a, a little help, here's a thing you can do. Look, I've made all of these. Let me show them to you. I made all of these maps. And as you can see, they're various symmetrical designs. Hope the glare isn't too bad. And as you can see, they get, some of them are easy and some of them are more complex, like check this one out. And what I've done is I've photographed things that kids have made or that I have made, and I turned them into a map, um, photographed them with a still camera, uh, and then uh, printed, printed these out on a color printer and put them in the laminator and voila, you have maps that your child can look at and try to recreate these. So um, that's perfectly fine. Uh, you know, they can go on their own or they can, if they still need a little help, they can work with these, uh, these maps that you can make up and you could make up as, as many of them as you want. So um, once again, uh, it can be as simple as this or they can get these designs can get very large. And uh, let me show you what I mean. Your, your jaw is going to drop when you see these. 
And this is done on the a rug background, so I hope this doesn't uh, uh, throw you too much. But as you can see, look at this complicated design. This was done by three kindergarten girls working together, um, even though it's like a, a sort of a four-way symmetry. It's not perfect, but it's awfully close. And they worked on this for half an afternoon in my classroom once. And look at this. These are... These are five-year-old kids who did this, five- and six-year-olds, so um, amazing things can be done. Uh, your child can do amazing things with these pattern blocks. So there's one example of three girls working together. Let's see here. Let me show you another one. Look at this. This was one, one child did this. This is just mind-blowing when you think this is, was done by a five- or a six-year-old. Just incredible work, in, incredible stuff. And just to show you another little variation, here's one that's stacked where the three boys who did this decided to not only, uh, you know, work outwards, but they stacked them up. So uh, the sky's the limit, uh, the, uh, you know. It's all about creativity when your child is working with these pattern blocks. So uh, once, and once they do, you know, get used to working with them, uh, the uh, constructions will improve and get more complicated. Um, so uh, just uh, give your child some space, jump in uh, w when he or she needs a little help, but they probably won't need much, and uh, let them go at it, as they say. And now let's have a look at some vertical constructions, or even 3D, you might want to call it, 3D constructions that you can uh, make, your child can make out of uh, pattern blocks. And I, I like to call these fences. Uh, here's, here's another one over here. I made two of them. Let me get a good close-up look and pan around a little bit so you can see what those look like. And here's my original. And as you can see, this is definitely going to require some excellent fine motor control uh, on the part of your child. So, um, you know, you have to make that judgment. Perhaps uh, your child will be ready for this or perhaps not, but don't push it on him or her if they just don't have that kind of control to balance the blocks. But anyway, as you can see, um, you could take this... Uh, I've taken maybe six, seven inches there. I've seen kids in my, uh, I've had kids in my kindergarten class that could stretch out a fence like this for several feet until they ran out of blocks and really enjoyed every minute of it. So um, um, that's another possibility with the pattern blocks. And as you can see, this one has even a little more uh, depth to it. Um, uh, but, you know, the same, the same kind of uh, idea. So uh, uh, you could perhaps, you know, make one of these, uh, a simple version of one of these, maybe just, you know, uh, a, a couple layers high here and um, see if your child can uh, also do it and then uh, leave him or her to their own devices and see, of course, what they can come up with. So uh, I call those fences and now I'm going to excuse me for a minute I'm going to pan around here to another design I made let me get up high so you can see this and this is a, a 3d um, design with pattern blocks and um, once again you may be looking at this and saying well um, I don't think my child could ever do that but you may be surprised many many of the kids in my kindergarten classes would make things like this, perhaps not as fancy. Uh, some could, but uh, you can definitely, the point I'm trying to make here is you can definitely work uh, 3D with these pattern blocks. And of course, you know, obviously it, it uh, is, is going to require a lot of creativity and uh, um, construction skill uh, for your child. Um, you know, like, like I said, this is just one example. Let me get a, cl a nice close-up there. One example of something you could do uh, with a 3D construction 
utilizing these pattern blocks. I'm going to get one more shot way up high so you can kind of get the idea of the entire design.